Urban Meyer said he had some uncomfortable conversations with the Ohio State defensive coaches this week after they gave up a million against Maryland on Saturday. Let's have an uncomfortable conversation about those uncomfortable conversations. Doug Lane Reese and Stephen Means, what do you think it was like? Well, what, do, what would you imagine they come off a game like that? Urban Meyer and Greg Schiano are great friends, but this defense has been an issue all year. What would you imagine Urban Meyer's conversations to be like with the defensive coaches? I think it was a more calm version of what we saw on Saturday. Urban Meyer did everything short of rip his actual hair out of his head on Saturday when a lot of those defensive mistakes were happening, especially the first two touchdowns that Maryland scored. I think that – so take that image – and put it in like a coach's office where like there's no like competition going on in that moment and you're calm and it's pretty much going listen we haven't had a good defense all year I don't know what you need to do but this is not the week to be having any type of defensive relapse at all we lose this game they're not just going to come for your head they might come for my head first of all losing the Michigan is a no-no Losing to Michigan at home is just a uh, that's Armageddon waiting to happen. Man, you made that sound pretty dire. Um, I do think there's I think there might be something interesting at play with the idea of uh, they've been hit by offenses that had these like kind of little fast guys that could pop pop through holes and do things. Whether it was Rondale Moore against Purdue uh, with Purdue, whether it was um, J.D. Spielman and Stanley Morgan with Nebraska, Adrian Martinez as a running quarterback with Nebraska, Anthony McFarland for Maryland. I, I think Michigan's offense is, is a little more like Michigan State's offense, but more talented, clearly. But I think they're going to grind it out a little bit more. I think Shea Patterson is good. I don't think he's as much of a little playmaking leprechaun as, as Trace McSorley was for Penn State. So I think there might be some things here that it's been the big play all year for Ohio State that really, really, really has been the problem. Maybe this, I think, is a solid offense. I think it might be less of a big play offense. So I think that might work to Ohio State's favor this week. But if it is that, Stephen, do you think, do you have, if, if, if Michigan doesn't pop big plays, right, do you think this Ohio State defense would allow Michigan to march down the field with 10 and 12 play drives and score touchdowns that way? Or do you think as long as they're not giving up, you know, 75 and 80 yard runs in the first quarter like they did against Maryland, could maybe the Ohio State defense not stop Michigan but limit them enough for Ohio State to win the game? I think the key thing you said is it's sort of like Michigan State's offense was where it wasn't a lot of big plays. They just kind of made their way, made their way, but they weren't talented enough to actually put punctuation on things. Well, Michigan is talented enough to put some punctuations on things. And the one thing we saw against Maryland was Maryland ran plays that specifically targeted the weaknesses that were in that defense for Ohio State. And that's why they had a lot of those big plays. And for a team who has kind of spent this whole year with the emphasis of not giving up big plays, they've given up a lot of big plays. So I think they're going to want Michigan to do what it's going to do anyway, which is march down the field. I think it'll be less big plays, but the major difference will be Michigan's not just going to have six points. They're going to be able to put some punctuation on a lot of these drives that are 10 to 12 if they do get those. We're kind of not talking as loud as usual because Urban Meyer's over, over there doing a, a TV show, and, and we don't want to mess that up. We have respect for that. So that's why we were very calm, kind of low-key Doug and Steven today. But we'll get wound up for outrageous picks and our game picks later in the week. Make sure you're here. He's Steven. I'm Doug. See you later at Cleveland.com. Oh.